Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to learn how to install the latest Cinema 4D and we're going to also install Corona 12 Renderer. So let's begin. So to install the Cinema 4D, I can either double click on it or I will right click and I will say run as admin. I want to say yes. So here, I'm going to choose the next button and under installation directory, I'm going to choose the drive where I want to install it. Drive C is selected here. But I want to change that to drive E. So I input E and I get rid of the C. So I will say next. And I will say next again. And the installation begins. So now that the installation is complete, I will go ahead and launch cinema 4d and there it is cinema 4d 2025.3.0 and here is our cinema 4d you want to go to help about you see that this is 2025.3.0 so right now we only have redshift here but we don't want to use redshift we want to install corona so You want to learn how to download and install Corona Renderer. So I'm going to put the link to this web page in the description. Go to download Corona. Then sign in with your email address or create an account. And come over to this place. We have Corona for 3D Mass and Cinema 4D. I'll be using Corona for Cinema 4D, so I'm going to choose this option. And for the versions, you can choose any version you want. I'm going to choose 2025. And we have official release and preview. I will go with official release. And I'm going to choose my operating system. We have Windows and Mac, so I'm going to choose Windows 64. So here is Corona 13 for Cinema 4D. But you do want to install a different version from 13. You can go to view older versions here. And here you can choose Corona 12 and for Windows and for version 2025 because that is what I have. But you can choose any version of Cinema 4D you want to use. So here I have three options. I have Corona 12 for Cinema 4D update 2, Hot Fix 1, and I have just update 2, and here I have update 1, Hot Fix 1. So going by the date here, you can see that this is the latest. So you can choose whichever one you want to download here. You just click on download for example if i want to download this particular one corona 12 for cinema 4d update 2 i want to click on download and uh, here is it so i'm going to click on start download and the download begins i'll say yes 
and this is Corona 12. In case you want to know the version I'm installing. So here I'm going to accept end user license agreement and I'm going to accept global consumer privacy policy. Then I'm going to go to advanced. This gives me the option to install Corona to any version of Cinema 4D I have running on my PC. For example, I could have three versions of Cinema 4D running on my PC at the same time. So if I want to install Corona Renderer for all of the three versions, I'll come here and choose. In case I have 2025, I'll choose that. And I also have R20. And if I have R25, I will choose all three of them. Then I will say continue. Then choose the location I want to install the Corona. So in this case, I only have Cinema 4D 2025 version on my PC. So I'm going to choose I'm going to check this and check every other thing. So I'm going to change this C to E for both of them. So I'm going to say continue. So I'm going to choose installation parts still on drive E. So I'm going to say continue. Choose local or remote. Local is to use the license on your system or remote for network licenses. I don't have a remote network, so I'm going to choose local and I'm going to say install. And here it says license server directory. Choose to license locally, therefore, the license server will be installed here. I can as well choose a location or drive I want to do this. So I'm going to check on these boards if I want to migrate data during installation. So I don't want to do that. So I will simply say continue and cause Corona for Cinema 4D 12 will be ready in a moment. So why this is ongoing, I want to tell you about the material library. In the older versions of Corona, you will have the option to install the material library during, during the installation. But lately, we have um, an option to download that later. And also, we have an option to download the material and install it offline. Uh, that will be the best because you need because whenever you need to install corona on a new system you always have the offline material library to do your installation instead of downloading it online every time you make a new installation so here i'm not going to click on anything and i'll advise you to do the same unless you know what you're doing so i'm going to say done so right now, I'm going to open Cinema 4D and see if we have any difference. Run as a query, say yes. And what you can see right now is Corona. It has been installed. So we have the Cosmos browser. And the material library which you can see material library is not installed do you want to download and install it you can say yes this file is about 3 point something to 5 point something GB so make sure you have enough data to accommodate the installation so that is all in this video if you want to learn how to use cinema 4d Join me on this channel and I want to start from the basics, from the beginning and we're going to move into the advanced stage. Cinema 4D is one of the 
most outstanding 3D softwares out there. Being the fact that it is not cheap, but having to compare it with a free 3D software such as Blender makes me feel that there's something about Cinema 4D that makes it impossible for someone to say this is better or Cinema 4D is better than Blender and if a free software such as Blender is competing with a paid software such as Cinema 4D, it means that when you make Cinema 4D free, then everybody's going to leave Blender and move to Cinema 4D. Again, Cinema 4D has integration with After Effects and Element 3D. So what we have now is Element 3D, After Effects, Cinema 4D. These three combo can get any job done anywhere, any day, anytime. So this is part of the reasons why I set up with Cinema 4D while trying to learn 3D. So this is where I'm going to stop this video. I will see you on the next one where I'll be showing you how to download and install Corona using the offline material library. That's all for this video. I will see you on the next one.